Hey guys, welcome back to the show. So today we are going to talk about keyword research and we are going to talk about SEM rush. Okay, so I recently updated from uh, HRFs to SEM rush and there is only and only one reason. Uh, there are a lot of reasons like uh, the tool is better for different kind of research when you are doing your own domain review or you are trying to find different kind of uh, keyword gaps between your domain and technical gaps uh, in your site, what's there, what's not there, the kind of errors you want to complete and all kind of other data position tracking is really nice and easy to do. Technical errors is amazing. But today we are going to talk about one specific thing that uh, you, which, which will completely change your keyword strategy, okay? How you do keyword research because we have moved from keyword research to topic research. And before we go into it, I need to explain you guys a little bit about search intent and how do we do keyword research and basic blog strategy and how we interlink the blog. So I'll quickly jump on this. If you want to read more about search intent, okay? then you can go on backlinko and write search intent and you'll get this blog search intent is just thinking of an intent of a person who's gone who's doing a search what kind of intent they are doing a search with so there are majorly four kind of intent first is informational blogs informational blogs is something very less people are writing about like how many calories are in apple uh, strategies to grow and email list best paleo blogs this is where you can compete easily Navigational blogs is something directly about your website, like your website name and contact page, your website lo login or something like that. Then there is commercial intent. Commercial intent is something where, which is very hard to compete, but those kind of blogs gets you a lot of sales, like uh, directly writing the brand name or uh, best drone cameras, best leather boots, best leather bags and so on, okay? Star Wars, posters, uh, car insurance codes. So transactional is again, uh, you have the intent to go ahead and purchase, but you are just looking to go ahead and purchase right there. So commercial and transactional is very hard to compete with. Okay. And transactional is where you'll see a lot of ads like buy groceries online. So many people will be doing ads on these keywords uh, and New York to LA flights, car insurance quotes and different kind of quotes. So these two are the ones where we want to rank because one of your commercial blog is ranking. Um, you can see a lot of sales coming just from one blog. Okay, and most people just go ahead and start writing informational blog without a proper strategy. I'll just show you uh, the kind of strategy I'm using. So this is the strategy I'm using. I write one or two commercial blogs. This can be commercial or transactional. Okay, so two commercial and transactional blogs you write. Okay, and then you start writing informational blogs and create a cluster like this. Okay, so you interlink this blog to commercial blog. Okay, this blog again, every blog, these are informational blogs. Okay, so let's say if my commercial blog is 10 best leather bags for men. Now this is clearly a commercial blog or leather backpacks for men. Let's say 10 best leather backpacks for men. That is a com clear commercial blog because if anyone is searching for best leather backpack for 2021, I want them to come on my blog. Now my informational blogs will look like 10 best, uh, sorry, my informational blog will look like uh, why you need to carry leather backpack instead of leather duffel or uh, what kind of leather is best for backpacks. Uh, what kind of uh, things to see before choosing a leather backpack uh, and so on. Okay. And I will interlink that to my commercial blog so that this commercial blog can get a push and uh, interlink these informational blogs with each other so that one of one or two of them can get viral. Other also gets the link juice or traffic from the same and commercial blog. The, our purpose is to rank this blog. And then like you can write two commercial blogs and internal link each other and then give internal link from anywhere to anywhere, wherever it makes sense. Okay. And once you are done with this cluster, then, uh, and still your blog is on not on top five results. Then I will try and push outer backlinks like outer links 
or backlinks to this commercial blog uh, to make it number one. That's how the whole internal linking and backlinking strategy works. Now we are on intent, okay? And uh, let's get back to uh, SEM Rush, what they have done and how killer this feature is, okay? I'm not even exaggerating. Let's directly, I don't want to show you basic tool which hrfs also have keyword overview tool or keyword magic tool i mean this is basic your keyword research tool and in life generally in life okay i'll come th this part later i'm really excited about this one also guys uh so this is one of the clients i'm gonna try and do a keyword research for them uh just a second so it automatically gives me the competitors that is one of the best parts Okay, these three are my these two are my major competitors. Let's go and compare them. Okay, now it gives me this nice chart that my client is ranking on the keywords, very less keywords, and some of them are overlapping with each other. But more than important than that, it gives me a commercial intent. So they have put intent as an option. Now, as I showed you. You want to go for commercial blogs, okay? Commercial blogs and then internal link it with informational and other type of content, okay? Now, what I will do is, let's say, first I find, and if I click on commercial, I'll get all the commercial results. Now, what I want to do is, I want to see, uh, over here, this is me, this is my client, this is uh, the other, sorry, this is my client, this is competitor, this is competitor. What I want to see over here is, where can I make a push and beat them up, okay? So let's say I want to go manually and I want to check this one. Okay, leather gym bag, okay? Now this is something that I want to push them in and uh, I'm on 18th, they are on 16th, and uh, they are on 8th, okay? Uh, I can push them over here in this particular bag, or I can see that we are already beating them over here, 9, 8, 68. Yeah, we can beat them over here as well, but this is my homepage, this is not their homepage, this is not their homepage. The reason I'm looking for uh, different kind of uh, things in this is, uh, so, okay. So Google wants to rank one certain kind of pages, okay? So let's say uh, in this, in this particular thing, if I go ahead and search for brown leather backpack, mine is on 21, okay? And mine is a category page. Okay, so you want to compete with other category pages to make it number one. Okay, so another theirs is also category pages and there is also category page. Now, when you're going for these kind of competition, uh, you have to go for category pages. Now, if it was 15 brown best leather backpack for men uh, and it was their blog ranking, then I would compete in a blog, not in a category page. That's how it works. So basically, you have to do your own research and see on Google when you type that keyword, whether product pages are ranking, category pages are ranking, or blog pages are ranking. Now I found my commercial product over here, okay? Now I want to go for informational blogs and find a lot of informational things like informational blogs where I can internal link this pro particular product or this particular page to give it a push, okay? As I showed you over here, sorry for coming back to this, but informational, I'll just through this blog, I'll give this blog a push through internal linking, okay? And um, just generally, internal linking is something which backlinks used to do. Uh, internal linkings do give that push. So I have blogs where I have literally internal link that one blog with 20, 30 other blogs and a lot of backlinks uh, just to make it rank on page one. That's how you do it with really competitive market. Okay. Now we come on informational content and we won't go over here. We will go over here in the missing category. Okay. So if I come on missing category, this is where I haven't written a content and maybe these two people would have written a content. So I'm not ranking on these at all. So Fox leather, 
this is a keyword that I can rank on tan leather uh, again a keyword I can create a blog on something like uh, all about tanned leather and why do people love tan leather bags uh, then uh, and if we are talking about brown leather backpacks then uh, brown leather backpacks versus tan leather backpacks and uh, PU leather I don't want to how is leather made now that's a really good uh, informational blog with different kind of that and leather city of the world again amazing blog to go ahead and rank on and yeah I mean I can just come off a lot of keywords what is vegan leather again a keyword and um, flight bag this is again a keyword that I want to compete in so these are some informational keywords they are ranking in and I'm, I'm not writing about at all okay so I can just go for missing opportunities or I can just remove this and go back over here okay and then I can search for uh, do a filter I mean you have to obviously play around with this so let's say if I go for this filter where I am ranking number one and they aren't and uh, or I can go for the filter where I am ranking the least and they are ranking on top now X is fox leather durable uh, where does real leather come from or what is genuine leather made of these are the blogs I'm ranking in and not doing very great job so whether uh, vegetable tanned leather process okay now this is something that uh, I'm on 46 this guy is on 16th and another guy is on 77th I need to push it so what I'll do is I'll open their their blog okay and I'm gonna open my blog the one which is ranking I'm sorry yeah. okay now uh, yeah I will go through their blog I will go through their keyword research and I will actually try and see this particular blog is ranking on what keywords okay because you need to in life generally make it a rule forget about the volume volume is such a bad keyword metric that people think about and keyword difficulty is also there which I really don't consider but stop for like stop researching with volume so if you think that um, a blog with 90 volume is bad okay then you need to think that it is only on just this keyword you don't know that your blog can be ranking for various amount of keywords like there is not only one keyword that your blogs rank on there are so many things that your blog ranks on and you just don't know that like you are just thinking of that main keyword there are LSI keywords that your blog will rank on there are uh, different things that your blog will rank on okay now I've come over here now their blog this blog I came this is a competitor blog I came over here and you can literally do this in their free plan as well like the trial session or you can do it with their paid plan the link is mentioned in the bio like below that's a affiliate link so I taught you things I mean you can do something in return for me so you can take their one month plan you can take their free plan anything that suits you and do this complete research so uh, I know people with very less budget so SEM rush is like minimum starting is one one nine dollar a month so I know a lot of people who does this thing where they take one month plan do their complete keyword research in a month and then prepare keywords for next six months and they have content for next six months so see their their blog is ranking on these keywords okay benefits of vegetable tanned leather uh, I need to uh, add this keyword in my blog okay then environmentally friendly leather tanning and uh, need to talk about vegetable tanned leather process what is vegetable leather made of buy vegetable tanned leather I don't want to rank for this keyword tanned leather vegetarian leather so if I add these topics in my blog I'm definitely in a month or two I can see somewhere ranking over here okay and then I can internal link the page once my blog is strong enough I can internal link the page with commercial intent 
and to see some kind of results or to see some kind of push and block this chain. So that's how this whole process works of informational intent. And that's how you need to do your keyword research, which can make it killer benefits in for you. And I really, really do suggest to sign up for SEM Rush and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, I am dropping a lot of podcasts, so do listen to the podcast part of it. Different kind of podcasts are there, which we are working on and a um, lot of information out there in the podcast as well. And subscribe to the YouTube channel for such videos. And if you are planning to sign up for SEM Rush, really request you to do uh, use my link for it. And yeah, I mean, just comment if you have any other questions or anything. Thank you so much guys for listening and I will see you guys soon. Bye.